Yeah, it's uh, definitely a different thing. Let's uh, let's open up the show. Our main topic to start off today. Um, let's talk about the Big Ten. The Big Ten Conference Commissioner Kevin Warren um, just started, like brand new commissioner, the first African American commissioner of any conference in the NCAA of any any major sport. Uh, that has student athletes involved, right? College sports. Uh, Correct. It's the first time we've ever had one of those. And he came out yesterday and did not just release a statement. Um, he had just an incredible call to action, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it, everything about this was awesome. I want to read the whole thing if that's okay with you, Chris. Um, yeah, go ahead. It is, it's fantastic. Uh, He said, on Monday, May 25th, 2020, George Floyd, a proud black man, was killed by a member of law enforcement in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Philando Castile, Emmett Till, the list goes on and on. Prior to joining the Big Ten Conference as commissioner and relocating to Chicago, my family had lived full-time in the Minneapolis area for over 15 years as I worked as, as an executive with the Minnesota Vikings in the National Football League. Our kids were raised in Minnesota and attended school in Minnesota before leaving for college and the people of the great state of Minnesota are part of the fabric of our entire family. As a black man, I pray every day for the health and safety of my wife and children, especially during interactions with law enforcement. We continue to see inequality and deep divide regarding how members of the black community are treated compared to the rest of society too often. The results have been horrific and senseless. Since uh, such racism and uh, inequality are pervasive, not just endemic in law enforcement. Meaningful change will only occur if, as a nation, we are united, resilient, and determined to create difficult, uncomfortable dialogue and take significant, tangible action. We all need to strive to make the world a better place, one person, one family, one city, one state, one conference, one country. George Floyd's death cannot be in vain. And this is where the call to action happens. He said, I have made the decision to create the Big Ten Conference Anti-Hate and Anti-Racism Coalition and invite student-athletes coaches, athletic directors, chancellors, presidents, and others to join me. I have already received powerful notes of support and interest in joining this coalition and look forward to partnering partnering with the existing diversity councils on our various campuses. It is critical that our student-athletes possess their rights to free speech, their rights to peaceful protest, and we will work to empower them in creating meaningful change. We must listen to our young people. Our children and future generations deserve better. We are either part of the problem or part of the solution. The Big Ten Conference will be part of the solution as we actively and constructively combat racism and hate in our country. In closing, my wife Greta and I have decided to personally make an initial grif- uh, gift of $100,000 from the Warren Family Foundation to the National Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights based in Washington, D.C., which focuses on addressing issues regarding racism, hate, and voter registration. I will continue to pray, lead, and take action to eliminate racism and hate in our country. Godspeed, Kevin Warren. This is a massive deal. Justin Miller jumps in on Facebook, by the way. He says, afternoon, gentlemen. Um, Kevin Warren, uh, the first-time conference commissioner, yep. first-ever African-American conference commissioner, this kind of thing that he is talking about building is the kind of thing that a legacy can be built upon. Right. The Big Ten is already built. Yeah, all he has to do, Jim Delaney set that thing up. They've got massive contracts. They've got big-time schools. They've got a, a TV contract, their own channel. They've, all he has to do is run it. It's basically Greg Sankey, right? All you have to do is run what Mike Slive built. Just keep it rolling. Don't this, mess it up. And yeah, and, don't, don't mess it up. And a lot of that is, is don't take risk. And he's not willing to take a risk. Uh, he's willing to take a risk right now because he thinks it's worth it. Yes, and and I agree with him 100%. I think yeah, I it is too. fantastic what he's doing. Um, and it's, it is it is a responsibility of his and, and all of these other conference commissioners. Uh, this will be the first of many. This was a fantastic idea. Uh, you don't just do it for the student-athletes. You do it to involve the student-athletes with the presidents and the athletic directors et cetera, et cetera, on down the line, get everybody involved and make it in a, a situation to where everybody has a seat at the same table and you listen to each other. Yep. That is a massive, massive deal. Kudos 
to the Big Ten. Kudos to Kevin Warren for starting this. I I would expect all of the other Power Five conferences to join in. Uh, yeah, to jump on board and to piggyback off of it. And listen, he's got the great idea. This is one of those situations where you just call him and say, hey, what can we do to help? You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to have your own idea. Yeah, basically, we want to do what you're doing. Yeah. Teach us. Tell us That's Tell right. us what with, we need to do. With you. With you. Yep. We can make this thing a bigger thing. Ben jumps in on Twitch. He said, Michigan and Ohio State are not allowed to hate each other anymore. But in all seriousness, this is a good thing. Uh, yes. There, there's still going to be hatred. Like, let's not get it twisted. These schools are still going to hate each other. Or at least the fans That's are. Right. But yeah. uh, I think that there is a, a brighter outcome on the other side of this. I, I Obviously, it's dark times in this country right now. But, but things like this. Uh, it is a good thing to have happen. Uh, you can see a light at the end of the tunnel. We don't know how long that tunnel is, but uh, but we will come out better on the other side of this. I am uh, I, I would almost guarantee that. Almost guarantee it. 